today will take home a selection of Tilda basmati rice, including their steamed basmati rice, which can be heated in two minutes. It's also gluten-free and suitable for vegetarians. Enjoy. Enjoy your basmati rice. All right, we are going to make a little recipe here. And you know if Rose is making it, it's good for you. It's going to be good and delicious. Chicken and eggplant parmesan. Okay. Which sounds like it could be a high-calorie meal yeah. if you're not being, you I know, I mean, Jason, we were things. just talking about fried foods, and typically eggplant is another one. You know, we didn't show it before we showed potatoes. But everybody loves eggplant parmesan. But when they have real eggplant, they go, that's not the same vegetable. <laughs> you know, because it's usually thin like this in a submarine sandwich, and it's deep-fried, and it's delicious, and it's oily, right? Right. When someone has real eggplant, they don't know that they're the same veggie. No, it doesn't taste the same. So I'm going to show you how we're going to cook this today and not kill it with oil. And we're going to do a beautiful chicken breast that's also not going to be deep fried to end up with, as, as you see here, a beautiful finished, delicious dinner great. with an eggplant chicken parmesan. So you've got a meal on one plate. you got your veggies, you got your chicken, tomato sauce, the whole works. Very nice. All right, so first of all, we're going to start out with an eggplant. And there's all different sizes. There is a thinner eggplant. There's the thicker ones that we have over here. One of the things that people like to do, sometimes they find it bitter so they end up uh, some people if you want to do this you cut it you see it starts to brown the minute it's exposed to air yeah. you're gonna put a little bit of salt on here kosher salt is better let it sit on paper towels for about 30 minutes that's if you have the extra time it takes out a little bit of the water and any of the bitterness right. but honestly with all the flavors going on here you don't need to do that so what I'm gonna do here is I've mixed an egg with a little bit of milk or water seasoned breadcrumbs to the seasoned breadcrumbs I'm gonna add in a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese so you see because I'm taking away uh, the oil and the fat I've got to give you flavor somewhere else right? right okay so the first thing we're gonna do is just take some of our eggplant I don't know you want to get busy with me too yes yeah, sure Tracy? why not so dip that first in the egg wash mm -hmm. then into the breadcrumbs and you can only use one hand for this because you, you need one hand for you got it right you got it and let's put it on here on just a baking sheet that we're gonna pop in the oven so here you go we're not deep frying this okay no, it's just going to be it's baked. Just and you know baked. what? If you give it a crust, oh, which I think is the smartest thing you oh. could possibly do, it's not going to taste blah, that's, blah, and people that's are not right. necessarily even going to know if it was baked or grilled now, or deep fried. No oil in here at all. I'm going to pop that in the oven about 400 degrees for about 15, Got 20 minutes, just until it gets really, really soft. There okay. you go. I know. That's it. You get dirty hands when you cook them. That's it. So, bang. What's nice about this is that that is cooking in the oven. Now we're going to do our chicken. Okay. So, we could bake our chicken, but I want to show you a different way. I've got a beautiful boneless chicken breast here, mm -hmm. skinless. Again, we're going to dip it in a little bit of egg wash. And remember, no such thing as chicken sushi. So you gotta be very <laughs> careful. Even though I have heard in New York, there's a restaurant now that is serving raw, not raw, but medium done chicken and the way it's fed. Why? Apparently, but it's still not where I'm gonna go for, no. <laughs> for dinner if I go to New York. Why All right. take that chance? So here, I've got a skillet that I put, you can see, just a little bit of oil. Yeah, you don't Tracy, need a lot. You don't need a lot, sizzling oh, away. Oh, listen to that. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna sear it up and you can finish it off in here. It will take about five, ten minutes, something like that. Okay. But again, I'm only using a little bit of oil, like not like what I showed you before. And then once that's finished, you've got your chicken breast here cooked through. If you have really big, thick breast, you can then put it into a baking dish, pop it in the oven along with the eggplant and finish it off. I was going to ask for 10 you about minutes. that. Absolutely. The reason why I stay away from pan frying sometimes is yeah. you don't know if it's cooked through or not, right? Right. right. If it's thinner, it will be. But you yeah. can also get a, a thermometer 160 degrees and, and check, you're safe. Check it out. Okay, okay, so that's going to sear. Look how easily that sears. So right now, I mean, I could sear them both, pop them in the oven, finish it off. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We have our beautiful chicken breast here that's cooked right through. That looks amazing. I'm going to shut this off here. And now what you're going to do is... We're going to look at our finished eggplant. Look how beautiful that looks. It, it looks, looks fried, and you and saw it's it was be nice baked. And crispy. Really, really nice. I'm going to put this into a baking sheet. It depends on what size you have. Mm -hmm. All right, just like this. I'm going to take my tomato sauce. Again, it can be homemade. Some jarred tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is generally good for oh, you, right? Oh, it's fantastic. It, it, there is high, higher sodium, yeah. but if you make your own, then you're eliminating the sodium. But virtually, there's like no calories. There's no fat in here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a chicken breast now. And put it on top. Oh, doesn't this look nice? So you can put one on like that. You can put another one on like this. You can use more eggplant. Very good. See, Isn't your that guests yummy? are going to be very impressed oh. with this meal. Oh, and easy. And what I love, honestly, you could make the chicken breasts in advance and freeze them. Yeah. This reheats beautifully. A little more tomato sauce. 
Would you pan fry it and then freeze it, or you, or do you mean just? Um, I would make the the entire chicken breast and freeze it up. You would, Cook, huh? Yep, okay. absolutely. And then you put so, the cheese on top. Absolutely, some mozzarella or Havarti or any cheese you want. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pop this back into the oven just for about three, four minutes. You've got a healthy, healthy dish that looks delicious. With I serve it up with flavor. the salad, mm -hmm. and and so easy to do too. What do you think? I love it. Now, do you have a favorite? Corey was saying, stick with the recipes you know and love. You're a big cook. Obviously, yeah. you have a whole catering company. Do yeah. you have that one recipe that you're always going to go back to if you know you want everyone to be so satisfied yes. with the meal? Yeah. If what I if, if, my, if I know my people who are coming for dinner are fish lovers, yeah. my salmon teriyaki is to die for. Ah. I buy and it takes no work. A whole side of salmon in the oven, 12 minutes. The sauce takes three minutes to make. Yeah. Everybody loves, loves it. it. So every time a new crowd comes over, they go, oh, Rose. I'm like, You're no genius. problem. I thought about it this morning, you know. That's awesome. But you're right. Go to something you know and do not invite people over and experiment that no, night. Don't make do sure it. you do it. Don't do it. But easy recipes like this, you feel good. You got a chicken eggplant parmesan that's healthy, delicious, filling, complete meal. And now online at cityline.ca. Let's go to break. Stay with us. More coming out.